All right, man. Uh, we back. We back. You know, hey actually, I want to do something different. I want you to start off the podcast. Do the intro. What? Do they do the intro? You have to do the intro because this is one thing about her. Like, she's a very much introvert. I'm an extrovert, so I'm trying to get her out. I'm that not shit. an introvert, guys. That is, it just I, at times I just like to be to myself. That is so. That is so false. That is so false. She's a very much introvert, so I need you to do the intro. Do the intro for the fam. Come on. Don't say what's the intro. You know what's the intro. Come on. Come on. Do the intro. Just do it. Just, just say what you got to say. Just welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. See, she's so shy. No, this, I got a question. What? Did the, ch- the channel name change yet? No, it didn't change. It's not changing until we're married. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the Pimp Podcast. Yes. Welcome it's to It's Ayana and... It's your boy, the pen, you know what I'm saying? So look, fam, uh, we have a topic to talk about today. I think it's something that's that everybody is pretty much struggling with, okay? And as y'all see, well, I don't know if y'all see, but you know what I'm saying? I have to bring the Bible, all right? The Holy Bible. We need some Holy Bible in here. You feel me? So uh, today we do want to talk about, first of all, we want to uh, just give out some news. We are engaged. Uh, I don't know if y'all knew Think that or not. That. No, we didn't say it in the last one because the last one didn't get uploaded. Uh-uh. So, but we are engaged, okay? Shut on the ring, shut on the ring, shut on the... Yeah, that, that thing glistening. I ain't gonna lie, boy. That thing glistening, you know what I'm saying? But um, today we want to talk about religion over relationship... Well, relationship over religion. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we started to talk about this topic because it's something that I was struggling with. Was I was felt like I was stuck into a religion rather than a relationship. But do you have anything to say about that with the young people or the people out there that's feel as if they're just more in the religion rather than just a relationship with God. Well, like, it's not just... Yeah, I feel like it's not just young people. It's older people, too, that struggle with it. And um, for older people, I say, like, it's more so out of the way they was raised. It became a religion to them. Instead of now, like, this whole relationship thing, it seemed like it's kind of, like, new. It's, like, it's not new, but, like... It's being talked about more now than it was like when my parents was younger or something. Like I say, that. I say, when it comes to having that relationship with God, I feel like you don't like you don't want to force it. Okay, this is, I feel like having that personal relationship with God is not to be forced because I mean, honestly, it's like you wouldn't want somebody, you wouldn't want your significant other forcing something with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I feel as if. You have a relationship with anybody. It could be boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever. You wouldn't want them to feel as if they have to do something as like a chore. Oh, I got to call them after I get off work. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to touch them. Like you want them to do it out of genuine love. And I feel like a lot of people struggle with the fact of being in a religion, you're focused on the traditions of the Christianity or any religion that you are in. It's a lot of traditions that Christians have. But when you have a strong relationship with God, I feel like you're not more focused on traditions, but you're more focused on having that loving and that a uh, genuine relationship with Christ. I say we're um, relationships. It's something like, like I said earlier, that like you want to respect the person. So like relationship with God, like you have to want to respect God and just honor Him and stuff like that. Anything you do, just um, respect and honor Him. And when it comes to a religion, it's more like. It's set of rules. It's this and that. Oh, you do, if you don't do this, then you're wrong. It's not I feel like more of a religion is not out of love, um, so to speak. I, well, I did want to uh, say this. I think is so. You say the word because you know how <laughs> ecl- ecl- Ecclesiastes. Ecl- Ecclesiastes. 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 Mm-hmm. So I said all right. Yeah, okay. Job. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so look, uh, in this one, uh, it say all people have to stand. I think it's this one that I was finna read, right? Earlier, so it's like all people have to stand. This is actually the breakdown, but if you don't have a breakdown, Bob, you should get one. But it say all people uh, will have to stand before God and be judged for what they did in this life. We will not be able to use life's inconsistencies as an excuse to fail in, uh, failing to live as God wants. To live as God wants, we need to one recognize the human effort apart from God. Uh, God is futile. And second. Put God first now. Three, receive every good thing as a gift from God. Four, realize that God will judge both evil and good. And five, know that God will judge the the quality of every person's life. How strange that people spend their lives striving for the very enjoyment that God gives freely. Now, 
when I read that, well, when we read that, what I got out of it pretty much, oh, man, this is hot in here, bro. I swear. I'm just, like sweating bullets right now. Oh, you just sweat. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know why I sweat so much, y'all. This is this is honestly ridiculous. But when I read that, what I pretty much was like getting out of because we was talking about having that religion or having that relationship. And it was like God never set us to to not have fun. You know what I'm saying? We we mm -hmm. are called to have fun. This, this is what this is the thing with religion. When you are stuck in a religion, you put yourself as it's not fun to to live for God. You feel me? Like I I feel like when you in that religion, it's like dang, like I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. It's like dang, bro, it's like no fun behind it. Then you got all these. It's like it's no freedom. When in a relationship, there is freedom. When a religion, it's not freedom. Yeah, that's the old church. That's the old church. I feel like old churches, like you said, say so no, say what you said earlier. Say what you said about the old churches earlier. I said that. What about the young people? Yeah, about how. Well, uh, tell how the uh, how if no, not about the young people, but how basically uh, the old churches is like they are more focused on just religion wise because they they will put they will talk yeah, about young more, people going into yeah, cars they and stuff more, like that. Yeah, they more they more focus on like basically what he said like focus on um, talking bad on the youth and all this and that. I'm not saying every church is like this at all and stuff like that, but it's a lot of churches that I have been to growing up and stuff like that. They always talk bad on the youth and this and that, stuff like that, make it seem like there's no like fun in believing in God. Like if you do this, you go to hell. You do this, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. But at the end of the day, God died. You Jesus sneeze died wrong, for that's us. a sin. Right, if Jesus <laughs> died like for us at the end of the day, we are saved by grace, not by our works. Yeah, not by our good works. We're saved by grace and faith, not by the good mm -hmm. works of, not by the good works because I mean, you can give to a homeless person, you can do all these nice things, but we're not saved by that. We're mostly saved by the uh, faith and uh, grace um, that, well, the grace that God has given us, and then also having faith and believing in Jesus Christ. So I definitely agree with that. But I was more like, it's like it's crazy to me how so many young people don't want to come to Christ, and the reason why is because they got people that's so religious. Okay, it, it's so many people that's religious that it's like you don't want to come to Christ because it's in like everything is a sin. Everything yeah. is like they always say that's almost like that's the, a sin. Um, that's a sin. That's a sin. It's like God, that's almost dang. like the Pharisees and um, Jesus day how they looked at everything like a religion that they rejected Jesus himself. They didn't realize when the true Messiah was here because they were so caught up in their ways and um, they just missed out on the Son of God and stuff like that. It's like it's like with. When it comes to, when it comes, I feel like when it comes to just being Christian in general, I feel like it's more like you can, not you can't do the things of the world, but you can still go out there, live life, have fun, enjoy every second of life. Life is what's enjoy. It's short. You want to enjoy your life, but what people are being told was, oh, live your life. You're young. Live this. Live that. Do this. Do that. And then it's like they're not. Then when they come across like people that are sh that should be Christian, they mm -hmm. come across people uh, such as like like you said like people that's acting like the Pharisees. It's like you have no. It's like when you put that religion based on it, say, oh, I'm Christian, or oh, I'm this, or oh, I'm that. It's like people look at you differently because it's the Christians that they came across or the church. Some of the churches, bro, they run away. Like, literally, they run people away from their church. And that's bad. And then, like, one of my biggest pet peeves is when, like, people be like, oh, why God allowed this to happen? Why this happened in the world? Why that happened in the world? It's just like, God created us at the end of the day. It's just like... He was like, I created y'all for a reason to change the world, stuff like that. We are the salt of the earth, and um, we are the light of the world. But it's like I the feel church like, not doing. But that I feel at like all. I feel like people can't change the world. Like yes, God called us to change the world. He called us to go out there and spread the word, spread the gospel to all nations. You know what I'm saying? But people, it's so hard to do that because it's like. It's it's simply okay. It's so hard for people to go out there and spread the word because they can't change the things that's inside them. You have to change yourself before you can go out there and try to change somebody else. The Bible even say, "Why worry? Why are you worried about another person's sin? Why do you? Why are you worried about? Uh, I think it's like a log in your eye or something like that. It's it's a scripture. I can't think of it right now. But why are you simply worried about somebody else's sin rather than focusing on your own sin? You can hold somebody accountable, but when you're doing the same things that they're doing, it's like mm -hmm. where's the? You know what I'm saying? Where right? Make sure you're right. You're right with God first before you try to correct other people. And then you also have to make sure. Everything that you do, 
everything that you preach, you got to make sure you're practicing. That's something that I'm working on. Like, it's like a lot of things that I preach that I may be struggling with. And I ain't saying we're going to be perfect. I ain't saying go out here, you know what I'm saying, and be perfect. But it's also hard to become Christian because you got a lot of people that are Christians that's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say how it is, that's gay. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people out here that's, uh, that, that's Christians that, that get drunk, that, Go crazy and smoking and doing all types of drugs. Have a whole bunch of sex outside of marriage. That's because I you feel know, like it, people it, with it. When it comes to that, people want to. That's what you call them, like lukewarm in a way. It's not like that because it's like they want to be of the of the world and in the world too. But we're of the world, but we're not in the world. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. It sound like you said that backwards. Because I think you just said like, we're not of the world. Or did, you said we're not of the world. No, you said we are of the world and in the world. No, I said people that are lukewarm, they of the world and in the world. Oh, okay, but okay, 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 okay. I get what you said. Okay, God okay. called us to be in the world, but not all of the world. Hmm. Huh. You still not getting it? Interesting. <laughs> you don't get it? Like, God called us. We're like, in the like world. Feel, like, like, we live in the world. And I understand that, woman. But we're not of the world. <laughs> it's like you said it so backwards. No, I don't know. Not, it no, sounds like you said it backwards. It's not like you said, okay, what do you think about what do you think about the people that thinks that um like what do you think about uh people that will be like of this world or as you say, in the world, whatever you said. Okay, what what do you think about when people are like literally living the living of the world rather than living for God? Like they, but then they go out and they judge somebody else because of things that they have done. That's being a hypocrite. You think that's being a hypocrite? For sure, one hundred percent sure. It's so like that. Unless you're I think doing all, it. I think all religious people are hypocrites. I think everybody sure. that's I think everybody Unless, that's a religious person is a hypocrite. If you, if you say stand there and be like, "Oh, you doing this and doing that," and be like, "I I'm struggling with that too," or "I'm dealing with that too," or "I changed this in my life too," then you're being a hypocrite. Cause I, it's like how you gonna teach? How you gonna tell somebody they're wrong? It's like telling a kid like, "Don't." Um, it's like telling the kid something, and it'd be the kid ask you why. You be like, "Oh, just cause." Forget it. <laughs> forget it. Forget it. Forget it. I was trying to go somewhere with it, but forget it. No, nah, you, you you was going somewhere, baby. You was, you was. It's just like you was like kind of like going a little slow, but you you was going somewhere. You you definitely was going. I'm, I'm giving you credit. You was going somewhere. You was. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people are. I feel like everybody. Like I said, I feel like everybody that's religious are v- pretty much hypocrites, and I'm gonna explain why. Because it's like. You want, when you talk to non-believers, you want them to have a genuine relationship. What y'all fail to realize, all you religious people, all you so-called Christians, y'all fail to realize that everybody has a personal relationship with the Lord. I'm not saying that these people, if, if this person is out here having sex outside of marriage, and that's what we all struggle with, okay? We all done struggle with that sin. That's probably one of the hardest, to me, well, everybody has their own struggles. Everybody has their own hardest sins. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like fornication is a sin that a lot of us struggle with. But if you see a person out there doing that and they say, oh, I have a relationship with God. I do this. I do that. At the end of the day, you got to realize everybody has their struggles and everybody's still going through their struggles. That's mm-hmm. why I'm learning to not look at people based off their sin, but look at them as they're human because everybody has some type of trauma behind the things that they do. Oh, uh, yeah. The things that they do in this life. Like there's a lot of people that's gay. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, you're gay. You're going to hell. That, that's what a religious person will say. But I will sit there and say, you know what? I, I don't understand why you're gay, but what made you become the way that you are now? What, what happened in your life that made you turn the opposite direction? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to honestly learn people's stories before you judge them based off the things that they're doing now. It's a lot of people that smoke weed for a lot of different reasons. It's a lot of people that go to the alcohol for a lot of different reasons. But instead of saying, you're getting drunk, you're going to hell. You smoke weed, you're going to hell. You sneeze wrong, you're going to hell. Why are you wearing that type of hair? You're going to hell. It's like, seriously, I mean, you want to keep going? You wearing lip gloss, you wearing makeup, you're going to hell. Your edge is done, you're going to hell. It's like everything is you're going to hell. And that's why people don't want to come to Christ. Because it's like, dang, I'm just going to hell. Mm. So it, it, it's, it's the truth, though. It's the truth. You got 
You got all the religious people that want to wear the long dresses and say, oh, you got to be modest. You got to dress like this. But a lot of people are comfortable in just wearing like some leggings. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are comfortable in, in, you know, not showing too much of their body, but wearing dress down stuff. Like, like my woman right here, she. <laughs> you point out every time. Right now she got on workout leggings and a sweater. But that's what she like to wear. But then you got a lot of religious people that like to wear long dresses and they like to they like to do everything. Oh, you gotta do this, you gotta they like to dress like Mary. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like even but But what? I say in God, like certain things like with the off modesty modesty thing, it's not to it's not to judge people about it, but it's like when you're in God, there's like certain things you just don't do. It's like you shouldn't want to do it because you're in God. Uh, I, I get that. I definitely understand. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's when you have a relationship with God, there's certain things that, that should stop from when you was in the world. Like, mm. the way that... Some, but it, it's all on to like, personal convictions, though. That's, that, that, right. But, but I said, like, some stuff is just strictly, like, in the Bible that said yeah. that. Not trying to become, like, religious or anything. Some things, like, with smoking and drinking. It's like, it's a sin. Why? Because, for one, if you don't get drunk if you don't get drunk it's still a sin because it's like your body is a temple why would you put harm um harm to your body when god it's not it's not truly your body at the end of the day it's god's body you're just living in it that's true and um that is on why are you destroying that uh why are you stro- destroying the body god gave you i mean it, I, I i'm not saying i disagree but i definitely understand what you're saying mm. because it's more like it's, it's like certain things, yes, it's certain things that you just shouldn't do because it says that you shouldn't do that in the Bible. But then you also got to look at who the Bible is talking to also. I'm not saying what you said is totally, I'm not saying what you said is wrong at all. That is 100% true. Y'all should definitely listen to what she just said. But what I'm also saying is that people judge, people, when I first came to Christ, people was judging me because I had tattoos. It was so ridiculous because it was like, it made me feel some type of way like, dang, I'm even a true follower of Christ because I was getting a tattoo every week. But then I had to realize who the Bible is speaking to when they said, Mm. do not mark your body. You know what I'm saying? I had to realize that, okay, the Bible was speaking on this base. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't in the New Testament where it's speaking to us, the Gentiles, but it was speaking to these group of people. So I had to learn um, just who the Bible was speaking to because, I mean, if you also want to say the Bible say, uh, you know what I'm saying, that uh, don't get tattoos or don't do this and don't do that. Uh, but the Bible also is talk about don't mix linen. And uh, I think it says something about, uh, I can't think of the scripture, but it was like, uh, do not lay in the same bed when your wife is on the cycle. If I'm not mistaken, I believe, I know for a fact that it say that somewhere. I'm going to find it. Actually, I'm going to find it. Can you, t- my phone's over there. Uh, you got your phone on you? Okay. Thank you very much. Then talk to the people, man. Talk to the people. Because I, I, I really want to find this But uh, I definitely understand what he's saying. That is in the Bible. I don't know where it is. But, um, yeah, but back to the whole relationship and religion thing, because I feel like we are, like, staring off from that a little bit. But, um. I feel like, yeah, when in a relationship, there's pretty much uh, freedom to do what you want to do. God's not going to chase you and hunt you down. Found it. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. But I found it. To um, point you off and like to point at you and condemn you and co- uh, yeah, condemn you and chase you down and all that stuff like that to be like, oh, you're going to serve me and stuff like that. He said, make men like us at the end of the day when he uh, created even a garden, which um, they had free will. So he wanted to give us free will at the end of the day. I like what you said, but I just found the scripture. I heard you. Okay. Anyways, uh, Leviticus 15, 24 is crazy. I didn't, I didn't peep that all this was in Leviticus, but um, moreover, if a man actually lies with her on that, uh, on, so that her period, basically, if you lie with her on a period, is on him. He shall be unclean seven days, and every bed on which he lies shall be unclean. So, I mean, literally, if you want to quote everything that's in Leviticus, you also have to... This, this is the thing with religious people, though. Religious people, they apply scriptures to their life that... No, they pick and choose what scriptures to apply to their life. Mm. That, that's the problem with religious people. I feel like when you have that relationship with God, you're not going to sit there and pick and choose, but you're going to... I actually study the Bible and look at everything that's within the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you don't just pick and choose like, oh, I'm going to apply that to my life and I'm going to convict somebody else on that sin only because I'm not doing that sin, but I'm going to just convict them on that sin. You know, I hope that makes sense. You see what I'm trying to say? So, 
I definitely say like with with having a relationship with God, you truly have to understand that your relationship with God is very important. I feel like if you have no if you have no relationship on this earth, you know what I'm saying, you don't have a, a mother relationship, you don't have a daddy relationship, the most important relationship, I need y'all to listen to me closely, the most important relationship is a relationship with God. Have a relationship with God. I don't care what other relationship you ever have in your life, if you don't have none, have one with God. I promise you, the best relationship you ever have, but don't be stuck into that religious. All right, because at the end of the day, he's the he's your f- true father, your friend, your whatever yeah. do you want him to be in your life, he can be in your life. That. You're definitely right. You're definitely right. And we and I want to say a couple of this because we also ran short on time too. So I do want to say things that's just like okay, um, to help my youth out, to help the people that you know. I'm saying that's my age. I'm 19. She's 22. So just to help those people out that's our age, I want to say this. You want to make sure you find. You want to make sure you ask God for discernment. Because you want to discern from who is a religious person and who has a true relationship with God. Because a person who has a true relationship with God will spread the word to you out of love instead of out of, that's a sin, that's a sin, that's a sin, that's a sin, that's demonic, that's demonic. Like, that's what religious people do. But when you have that relationship with God, you want to truly, you know what I'm saying, you want to truly spread the word uh, mm-hmm. out of love. Because the Bible called us to spread it out of love. And I don't think that's just for... I, I believe everybody should do it. Everybody should just spread the Bible, spread the word out of love. I understand that you want to call somebody out on their sin, but before you call somebody else out on their sin, call yourself out on your sin. You can't call nobody else out on their sin if you're not uh, open to what you have done because a lot of y'all have pride. A lot of y'all uh, be, be what, what? what's the one? Uh, gluttony. You know what I'm saying? Overeating. That's a sin too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be doing so many different things, but then y'all want to call somebody else out on a sin. We have to stop that. As followers of Christ, as believers, as true followers, bro, we have to stop that, bro. We can't keep we can't keep pointing out somebody else's fault flaws and not pointing out our own flaws. You understand me? Do you get what I'm saying, baby? Yeah, I definitely agree with that, with that. Do you have anything else to say to them? Um over religion and religious. I mean pfft, yeah, religion. <laughs> Relationship, relationship and religion. And religion. Yeah, yeah. Do, you have, <laughs> do you have anything <laughs> but, else to say? Um, uh, say to the people, say like, to the fam. All I gotta say, um, pretty much is, um, I'll just give like a whole, like a little background of what we both just said is that like religion pretty much is like stuff that's like to religion pulls you further away from God and relationship bring you closer together with God and um. Go ahead, my bad. I was reading something. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You're fine, you're fine. But yeah, religion pulls you further away from God and relationship brings you closer with God. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to build you up to be the man or woman that he called you to be. Don't force it. Yeah, don't force it. Don't force a relationship. She had to tell me that because I was forcing my time spending with God. Uh, as y'all, like some of it's y'all- It's like with a, um, I say- Look at it how it's if you would treat your like boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah, listen, you you wouldn't want you to wouldn't be want to like force nah. to have a conversation with them because eventually y'all just gonna either y'all gonna split up or you, like some like, y'all just gonna have like, toxic yeah toxic relationship throwing other. plates so and all types wanna... of junk. I don't know why I said throwing <laughs> plates. That didn't have nothing to do with. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That didn't have nothing but, to do with anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like you don't want that none of that to be forced. Like he wants. Um, you wholeheartedly, genuine, and come as you are. You don't have to be, oh, holy and sanctified and stuff like that. He'll meet you where you're at. He'll meet you right at the door. Even in your sin, he'll meet you right there. You people get high. Many people get high before they met God in their yep. highness and their drugness. And this is the like, and this is another thing I want to mention before we run out of time. I want to also mention this: religious people don't realize they don't. I don't think they believe in. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's like it's, it's it's like free, but it's like a little more fancy word. Mm-hmm. Like you know how you say being free from your sins and stuff like that. It's like a more fancy word to it. I can't think of it. You can think of it. No. Okay. Basically, religious people they be, they don't believe in like being free from the sin. Like they will point out even your past. Uh, I bit my tongue. Uh, even your past. Bring out your past. Yeah, they they that's, point out your past. That, that's that's like another biggest fat peeve with me because it's just like a lot of people you're you are growing and stuff like that. So why are you put? Oh, you had a baby out of wedlock. 
Uh, and you supposed to be teaching oh, me the like word? This, this time ago, oh, you like this? you got tattoos, bro? I got two full sleeves. Well, I got one half sleeve and the other full sleeve. God can but... use somebody that was saved a year ago to change somebody else. Exactly. Like, then somebody who was saved five, ten years ago and stuff like that. Somebody that was saved like a month ago can be more anointed than the one that was saved since they was born. It, it's God like... use whoever. God use whoever that's willing. That that's definitely true. It's like um, it's like. You can't, you can't, because uh, I had somebody tell me before, and it, it 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 never hit, it never hit, but I had to really just pray for that person because the man told me, and I'm not going to say no names, but he basically told me, um, you do this and you do that, uh, and but you're out here preaching. We're basically saying I was a hypocrite because of what I used to do, uh, the things that I used to do, but then, you know, because I don't mind spreading you know, my testimony, you know, I tell people what I have done, what I still struggle with to this day. I don't mind sharing my testimony, but it's just like Paul, God used Paul. That man was, what, that's, uh, he was killing off Christians. Yeah. Whole bunch of things, you know what I'm saying? So God can use whoever he want and you don't have no authority to say who God can and can't use. Mm. You feel me? That's what y'all got to realize. God can use whoever he choose to use. He can use a person that stuck out on drugs, that was an alcoholic, that was in the crack house. Whole bunch of things. God will use that person and he will that he will use that person to motivate you and get you right on the right path. You never know who's in your way that God put in your way to use you or to use them to 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was going crazy then i ended up just losing my train I, I ended up losing my train of thought but we are uh, running out of time here y'all so i definitely do you got anything else or do you want to go into the next uh into the next topic or you want to just leave right here mm, we'll say the next topic for the next time. okay so okay so because something that we're trying to do different just stay on one type of topic you know what i'm saying because yeah. we be all over the place at times but every tuesday the podcast will be out well it won't be out on tuesdays but every tuesday podcast will be filmed y'all can be expecting every podcast to be uh out on saturday okay so saturday is the gay uh the the gay what the world the day <laughs> the that day. i'm aiming yeah the day that i'm aiming for uh is saturday and yeah man so the name will be changing hopefully like sometime next year when we do officially get married we just waiting on god's timing uh and that's another thing i think that's the next time we're gonna talk about god's timing waiting on god's timing and um being being obedience in the being obedient in the waiting okay so i think that's something that we should talk about next but yeah man we go go ahead and get off this man we love you guys like i said every saturday we should be uh every saturday podcast should be out man so check us out on spotify apple podcast and also check us out i think that's it apple podcast spotify i think that's only two things i got uh ready but yeah apple and podcast YouTube. and spotify oh yeah and youtube so make sure i hit the like button if you're on youtube if you want spotify apple podcast go ahead Get your boy right, you know what I'm saying? What's the pan podcast? We love y'all. Hey, baby, say say what you gotta say. You gotta say something to the people real quick. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Why you gotta sound all have a blessed day? She don't want to talk like that, y'all. She be like, I'm full no gray. Have a blessed day, G. She a little, <laughs> little, 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 she a little hood when it comes to that Christian. I ain't gonna lie. She be like, I'm full no gray, man. Have a blessed freaking day. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, say, say it, say it, say what you really say. Say what you really be saying. Have a blessed day, guys. Man, she lying. She one of y'all churchy and stuff. She do not talk like that, y'all. But we love y'all. God bless. <laughs> Stay blessed. Peace. Ha!